Welcome to the recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. I've been continuing to work on this Wagtail social networking website. Opened a pull request to allow members or users of the site to join social chapters. In the pull request, we've um, touched a few files, but essentially, We haven't done anything to the kind of front end of it, but we have a membership management user interface. So this is a work in progress. It's a draft pull request. I'll have to probably continue working on the front end of it. Tomorrow I'll have to sketch out some design ideas. What we've done is when you have a, you know, one or more chapters created, you can come to a new kind of page, admin page, where you can add a membership. And essentially what it allows you to do is choose a user and a chapter and a status from a predefined list. Uh, for the chapter, we have this wagtail page chooser, which works pretty, pretty good out of the box. It's pretty functional. You just kind of pick it here. Uh, for the user select, it's uh, a little bit problematic, but um, using a, a third-party module called a Wagtail Instance Selector that lets you um, select an arbitrary instance rather than just a Wagtail page instance like the page chooser. Uh, but it is designed to reuse the Wagtail editing interface. So essentially, what it should really do is just let, when I hover the row, it should kind of behave like that and it's not. What it makes me do is save the user before I can select them. Um, so it's not an ideal user experience because I don't believe you will want to necessarily edit the user profile every time we're just selecting one. Um, in any case, I opened a support request in their uh, GitHub issue tracker and I'll, I'll see if I get a response. Um, I can try other alternatives as well. I think there's a couple of other packages that do a similar thing. I like this one that it, because it aligns with the way the Wagtail templates are to, um, displayed. So let's try to keep this short and check out the code that makes this happen. So we've installed the instance selector and registered with our installed apps. Um, there was one configuration. I should mention that I also created a a custom uh, user model so we can take a quick look at that it was just in the process of this um, this x frame option same origin i guess is what allows us to open that little modal dialog and populate it with data um, in order to make this work i um, create this new membership model and uh, i'll just go over the membership model and then it'll make sense why i've introduced a custom user model essentially a membership can have um, a status and I've just come up with a couple of them pending active and lapsed and a membership is a relationship between a person and a chapter so we've just to have foreign key relationships to those models and since I was making it uh, using this foreign key uh, I didn't want to use the Django the default Django model user model uh, which I needed to I had planned to swap out and so this became the the right time to swap it out. Um, and finally, I'll just read, spin through these. We've got a status field that uses those choices defined above, text choices. And our meta field defines that a user and chapter should be unique together. So a, a user can't really have maybe two memberships in a chapter. We can come back to this. Uh, if there's going to be the possibility of having um, time bound memberships or some, something like that where you want to keep track that this person was a membership in you know 2019 and then 2021 or something like that but for now one user one chapter unique together um, and then we can register this with the uh, wagtail admin user interface uh, and when we do so over here we, wagtail needs to know what kind of um, editing panels it needs to render the fields by default if you leave these off a wagtail will do its best to infer and it'll use like a field panel which in this case made all of the um, 
fields drop down menus like this, which could be problematic if you've got a lot of chapters or a lot of users. So I think this modal dialogue approach with search and things like that, I think is a better user experience. So hence we installed this instance selector panel extension or plugin or module um, and use the page chooser panel for the chapter and the regular field panel for status, which, you know, this drop down is fine. Uh, and finally, uh, this is a regular Django model. So we need to define the string representation, which, so it'll show in the user interface in, in a sensible manner. Um, we went ahead and registered it with the model, uh, with a wagtail admin UI <laughs> using regular model admin registration. This is really no different than a page model. It's the same properties and everything. It, it just works. It's really a remarkable thing about Wagtail. One of the things I would like to have is um, the ability to search memberships. Their little search bar would appear here uh, by the username or user email or something like that. But I don't know, I don't remember off the top of my head how to search properties in the related. So this would be a user field on the membership. Um, membership uh, instance. And then it should allow me to traverse into the username into the user object somehow. I don't know if it's possible. I believe it is. I just didn't want to wrestle with it. I wanted to move on. So I put a little note to self there to see if I can circle back around to it. In any case, you can filter by membership status and define which fields to display. And it's using this default string representation uh, of the user, which is the username and the chapter, which is the title. And briefly, I'll point out our custom user model is just a couple lines here. It's really just uh, giving giving me something to hook into and um, to point to and potentially expand on. So we're we're using the same abstract user which has first name, last name, all those fields, and uh, not doing anything to it. And a couple of things that needed to change uh, with the Django admin, which we're not using as much as the Wagtail admin. I went ahead and, and still registered this user. Um, user admin using the custom user model. I guess that's, it was in the Django doc, so I was just following them. And then the final thing was telling our project what the auth user model is. So in our settings, we have this auth user model property, which you might've noticed was used over here. Settings, auth user model. So there, we can refer to it in other places. Yep, so that's it. We're, it's a work in progress. It's a draft pull request. I'll put the link in the chat and um, see if we can get it into a good uh, working order um, and get some feedback on it. This has been a codebuddies.org live code hangout. If you're interested in getting involved in this or similar projects, stop by codebuddies.org and join one of these hangouts. There's a lot of them. Uh, I've been doing some Django hangouts, but uh, you know, there's code buddy rewrite there. Um, rewriting the platform as open source and learning data structures. And there's a lot of uh, various study groups as well. So there's a lot of ways to get involved in code buddies and extend your knowledge and help others along their learning journey. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day and stay safe out there.